and we're back for another episode. In this episode we're going to be continuing the main scenario quest of Stormblood. And as always, hello from Ifri. So we are here in the Azim Step at 3012 and the quest is called A Warrior's Welcome. So Serena would impress upon you the gravity of the path you walk. So my friends, I must warn you, the path upon which you embark is fraught with peril. You will journey onto the far reaches of the steppe to confront a terrible foe, as did the warrior of Bardam in days of yore. Three days he battled with the demon ere he returned to his people. So it is written, so it must be. Many who follow in his footsteps perish, lacking in strength for body and mind, therefore... We must treat you to a great feast. No, what? Have I said something strange? The hungry fox starves, staring at the bull's testicles. Therefore, warriors should be well fed on the evil bowel. Har 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 har. So, she does have a point. You have been keeping busy in my absence. A brief repast may be in order. Lest we collapse of fatigue and malnutritionment in the midst of our trial. Yes, just so. However, I, it will take time to prepare. Is there anything we can do to help? It might also give us a chance to learn more about your people and their ways. Well, if you insist, I am sure the others would be glad for your assistance. Hmm. Would you go and speak with Dorbe, Lise? Bye. As for you three, you can help me with another task. For today's feast, the gods decreed that we lure Gulu Gulu to slaughter with Ent Trails. Perhaps you could be the ones to do this? Uh, that your people look to the gods for guidance, I understand, but in your daily meals? I say, your grandmother must be quite busy. Some days more than others, but every night we come together around the cook fire. Even uh, babes must earn their keep on the step. Give over the entrails, Serena. We will bring you a bounty of a meal. Of meat, sorry. Here, let me just pull the entrails out of my pocket. Let's just casually walk off like that's normal behavior. Hi. Anyway, so let's speak with Hian. To be honest, I might actually try and do some of this as a uh, summoner rather than a scholar. And then also use my Chocobo minion. Because I am starting to get some more of the 270 gear. Even though it would be redundant once I get the 290 gear, but whatever. I am trying to finish all the Shire sets for the sake of the future. And it will help obviously my Black Mage as well. And my Red Mage. So I do have reasons to collect this set. So, a word of advice. Our quarry is wont to avoid the Zayla and their settlements, but is fond of flowing waters. Hmm, a thought occurs to me. How about we make a game of it, Mifri? I have six bags of entrails with which we may lure our Gulu Gulu. Three are for you and three for me. Whoever returns with the greater portion shall be declared the winner. What say you? Why not? Then it is settled. Gosetsu will stand as witness. Let the game begin. Kill. So where are we going? What are we doing? Use the entrails to... Oh, Gulu Gulu and then slay them. Um... Uh, 
What, so do we actually use them on these mobs? I feel lost and confused. Ah, sorry, here it is. Lol. Yes. One. Next. Hmm. Okay, up this way, I suppose. So obviously as a summoner I can kill things way, way faster than as a scholar. So it's good to collect all these sets, that's for sure. It just gives you a purpose to all of this bare poetic when you're doing the roulettes every day. So hoof prints, wagon tracks are unmistakable in the earth. Perhaps there is Gula Gula lurking nearby. Oops. dead. Really, really overpowered. Next. Which way do we go? I wonder what that is. Okay, so there must be one around here somewhere. There it is. Okay. I did like those butterfly wings, I thought they were really cool. Okay, let's go to Gosetsu. I wonder if this way is quicker. If it will let us jump down. Whee. Just remember not to fall too far when you're in combat because you will actually die. You're, you're not immune to death if you're in combat. I've learned that the hard way very, very recently. <laughs> I mean, I already knew it, but I, I forgot, so, rip. Okay, and split. So, oh, have you used all your bait? In that case, let us see the fruits of your labor. Oh, it would seem that at the very least, you are the faster hunter. 
But speed is not everything. For my part, I slew six Gulu Gulu. Ah, you have, my lord. As for Mifri. With the meat from Ford, did she return? Congratulations, my lord. You are the victor. Aho, there you have it. I shall try not to let it go to my head. I mean, does it matter who wins or loses? I know better than to expect the hawk to show her talons on a whim. Nay, when the time comes, I expect you will prove yourself more than my match. Maybe I have to go to the big circles to do it rather than the small ones. And with that, our game is concluded. Let us return to Mol Iloth that forthwith. And let us have Mifri present our meat to Serena. So mayhap you aren't familiar with the traditional Zayla cuisine. Let us let not its appearance deceive you. It is quite hearty and nourishing. Were it not so, I doubt they could have nursed me back to health. You should have seen the state I was in. Q. Now, I am actually not happy with the fact that I lost. So what I'm actually going to do, if I can... Just check if I can. I probably can't. No, I can't do it. I wanted to see if I can abandon the quest and try again, but I can't do that. But, whatever. So we will know for next time to take our time with it. And not just take the first option sort of thing. Never mind. So you have returned, Mifri. How was your hunt? Yeah, fine. So my word, this is impressive. Or were you so hungry that you felt the need to kill so many? Uh, well, I shall endeavor not to disappoint you with all my cooking. Complete. Done. Next quest is called The Heart of Nations. If you wish for employment, Serena has a suggestion. It will be... A little while before the meal is ready. If you and Lise wish to fill your time, perhaps you could assist Dorbe? He has many responsibilities and would welcome your help. Uh, nor would you regret making his acquaintance, for he is liked and respected by all. You may find him by the other yacht, taking stock of our supplies. Right. So let's carry on. So, ah, one of the newcomers. Welcome. I spoke with Lise. I bade her help the children gather fuel for the cook fires. I trust it will be a good experience for all. For you too, perhaps. Seek them in the south across the bridge. Oakley dokley. Next. Let's go south. So I do like exploring big wide plains and zones. There's something quite nice about it. Because it reminds me of the old days of World of Warcraft for some reason. Like running around the fields in the Grand, for example. Okay, where are they? Where are they? Ah, is Lee's? So, oh, Mifri, are you here to help too? Great, so I suppose Dorbe told you that the children and I are gathering fuel for the fires, did he? It will need to be dried before they can burn it, of course. You, um, you do understand what we're here for, right? 
Only some people can be a bit squeamish about this sort of thing. Then again, you've never minded getting your hands dirty, have you? Anyway, we're trying to eat four... Sorry, trying to get four piles of each. Good luck, and keep an eye on the children while you're at it, eh? Okily dokily. Yeah, so it really, really is like Nagrand. Nag there was actually a quest in World of Warcraft in Nagrand which involved picking up, like, animal crap. Yeah. So is this inspired by World of Warcraft? <laughs> World of Warcraft did this during, like, the Burning Crusade. And I know Yoshi P has played WoW, so he, I wonder, like I said, I wonder if he got the idea from this quest from that. Just to make it feel familiar for the veteran, like, MMO players. Next, let's go deliver the, the dung to Lee's. So, well, have you found your share yet? Yep. A <laughs> dung. It is what it is. Lol. So good work. I hope you took the time to talk to the children while you were at it. Nope. So at least, least, look how much dung we have. Wow, I'm impressed. I thought we'd gathered a lot, but it looks like we'll have to admit defeat. Dorbe will be happy we found enough. Not just Dorbe, now we can continue making cheese. Not that I was worried. It was easier when we were living near the forest. But dung works just as well as wood. I heard the mole move from place to place. That the guards tell you where to go. That must be hard on you all. Hard? I do not understand. Why is it hard? It is better for the animals to move. To have more food to eat and land to roam. To stay in one place is harder, no? From the heavens comes the rain, which nourishes the soil. From the soil comes the grass, which nourishes the beast. From the beast comes the flesh, which nourishes the zela. Ours is the soil of one and all. But you Westerners are like the Domans. You live in the same place in villages, and all villages in one place are part of a nation, yes? Heen talks about nation sometimes when he was injured. He spoke of Doma in his sleep, and I did not understand his words. Whenever I ask him about Doma, he just smiles and looks to the south. It reminds me of my mother when she waits for my father to return from a long journey. But Heen will not wait any longer, will he? Because you came for him, to take him back, because his nation is more important. So, um, I'm not sure how to answer this. A nation is a place, I suppose. A place, and the people in it, and maybe the things too. But more than that, it's the history, the traditions, the words, the stories we tell ourselves and our children. Everything that came before, and everything that comes after. The place we were born is part of who we are. We carry it with us, no matter where we go. Whoever, whatever we are, that part remains. That link to our fathers and their fathers before them. It's not important to everyone, I suppose, and that's fine. But it's important to Hian and to me. Some call the moles fools for listening to the Elder Gods, but it is our way, our pride, our nation. Something like that. It's something precious that you and others share, and that can 
no one can ever take from you. But we can talk more about it later. It's time to go home. Dorbe is waiting. I'll stay with the children. Why not go and let Serena know how we got on? Bye. Cool. So let's do this. And we'll see how close we are to the next dungeon in the game. As I say, I do really like exploring new areas in the game. It's just any MMO really, it's just the exploration is really fun. If only I was able to do that in real life without feeling ill all the time. So here is Serena. So welcome back Mifri, did you speak with Dorbey? So well well, then you will forgive me if I ask you to wash your hands. I shall pour you a cup of milk tea in the meantime. The meal is almost ready, so we should summon Hien and Gosetsu. God, I didn't have a chance to, like, wash my hands. It took that long, it's now night time until my hands are clean. We're going to use fire to clean my hands. Ah, oh, Lisa's sleepy. She needed the rest to come so far and carry so much. Hien and his friend, too. Strange that they should vanish so soon. Cool. A training. Not troubled by your old wounds, I see. <laughs> no, you by yours. I know I should have fled with the others after father died, instead of blindly fighting on. It was reckless and foolish, and there was naught to be gained from it. Everything to lose, rather. We know no path save the one we walk. I myself am in no hurry to meet those who have gone before. Not while I have still to make amends. Well said. You are none the worse for your time in the wilderness. On the contrary, I would say you have improved. Come now, your victory still far exceed mine. Or have you forgotten all the times you trounced me as a boy? I would not see you again. A life so fortuitously saved should be spent wisely, without regret, and I have traded it for our people's amnesty, had it been their will. Instead, they have called for the sword, and so that is what I must be. Until this blade is broken, I can but carve a path forward. Were you truly so concerned for my well-being? You never showed it when we used to spar. How 
you cried when you lost, and when your mother tried to comfort you, and when you inevitably came at me once more, swinging your wooden sword wildly. Mina's little Master Shun. What a fine young man you've become. A man should not be addressed by his childhood name. I've told you about that before. Ah, the mask slips. And I was so close to cultivating a winning persona. Mufri's outfit is funny. For putting on airs after you have returned in triumph to Doma. Now is the time to show our true character. So no secrets between comrades, eh? Uh, Shun, was it? So long as we win when it counts. Which makes me think you should join us next time. I dare say you have a secret or two of your own to share. I suppose. But wait, there's more. Okay, next. So well, my friends, I for one am a full of vim and vigor. I trust you feel the same? Then what better time than now to undertake our trial and become fully fledged warriors of the Mal? Cool. Next quest is called A Trial Before the Trial. Heen is ready to become a warrior of the steppe. Or Heen. So now then, Serena, if you would tell us of the trial we must undertake that we might participate in the Nadam. Nadam. So, ah yes, as I mentioned before, to be recognized as warriors of the steppe, one must follow the footsteps of the legendary warrior Bardem. He embarked on a great pilgrimage, um, issuing car and horse, and walked many marms until he came to a holy place, thereafter named Bardem's Meat. There, at the altar, as he did, you must pray. The altar lies deep within the breeding grounds of the Yol. To complete your trial, you must uh, tame one. Only then will your trial be complete. Fair enough. And where is the entrance to Bardem's metal? You must journey far, far to the west, beyond uh, Shakazo, where lie bones of a great and wise woman. Beyond the ruins of Solan, hidden within the mountains, is a narrow pass. Follow it and you will come to Bardem's metal. Sounds to me like it will be a trial just getting to the trial. More than you know, on the eve of the Nadam, many strive to improve their fortunes. Some by abducting and enslaving the warriors of other tribes. Be ever mindful of your surroundings, lest you be taken as well. So ha, huh, what grim expressions you wear while nodding so powerfully. Warriors such as you are not like to fall en route to a mere rite of passage. We shall proceed with all due caution, yes, but let us not worry over much. We will overcome this trial, and the next, and the next, until we stand triumphant. That is all there is to it, no? With me, my friends, to the west, to Bardem's Metal. Let's go. 
So wait here. Oh dear, I knew I would forget. So here, take these whistles. Once tamed, your yule will hearken to their call. Thanks, we'll try them out once we've finished the trial. Let's catch up with, to Hian and Gosetsu. Next. Let's talk to Lee. she's just outside of town. Whee! There she is. So we still have a long way to go, but I think I can see that monument Serena talked about. I don't see Hia no Gosetsu though, we should hurry. Okay. I guess we'll try not to get into combat as well. So where do we go? This way. There is Lee's. So, hey, I don't know about you, but I can't shake the feeling someone's watching us. Serena did warn us about tribes that kidnap warriors and then make them fight for them. Something tells me we're about to meet them. Yep. I wonder if this person is going to die. Yep, player got owned. one now. Okay, so that's done. Next. So we're edging ever closer towards the trial, and I'm assuming the next dungeon for level 65. How long have we got to go till we get there? We're about, I guess, halfway there at this point. Okay, here's Hian. So, ah, there you are. As you can see, they left us little choice. I gather you were forced to dispatch a few yourself. So it goes, a few less warriors to face in the Nadam, eh? Uh, Soul Lan is not much further. That said, it sh I should be surprised if our would-be masters do not try to subdue us one final time. Cool. Next. Hmm, all these weird looking mobs. If I remember rightly, I remember seeing some like really oversized one of those things. Like a S rank or something. There we 
just start all three of them. Let's kill the healer. Dead. Rip. Okay, we're almost there now to the next dungeon. I wonder if this means that, given that we're doing a level 65 quest, that we are halfway through the story, I suppose. I don't know. I guess we'll see. Okay, here they are. Cool. Here is Hien. So, right, this must be the pass at least to Bard and Mel. They say no foreigners have overcome this trial, but well, there is a first time for everything now. So let's complete. Yay! Let's accept the next quest. Next quest is called In the Footsteps of the Bardom Brave. He and is ready to undertake the challenge of Bardom's Metal. Of which we'll get the oh, oh wow, we'll actually get a mount for this, interesting. So nothing left but to begin then. To complete to complete the trial, we must each pass through the Bardas Metal and tame a Yarl. How precisely we are to do this, I am not sure, but since countless warriors before us have succeeded, I imagine we'll model through somehow. But enough talk. We have a Nadam to win. Nice. So Barden's Metal is now available. So finally unlocked the 65 dungeon of the game. So anyway, guys, that's it for this episode. Thank you for watching. And as always, goodbye from me and goodbye from Mifri. Bye, guys.